What is up, y'all? Welcome to another weekend of everyone's favorite football show, The Weekend Zone. It's your girl, Britt Johnson. You guys can follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. I'm Jackie Ray. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at JRayTheFanatic. J- Jackie, you got a baby over there? <laughs> That's not, that is not me. <laughs> I know who it is. I know who it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get into these stories for honorable mentions. So this first one is just a stab into my heart. This just shows how terrible my team is. So um, Adam Schefter announced that the NFL has flexed week 15, which is not this weekend, but next weekend, the Browns and Giants game um, to Sunday night. But the game that was supposed to be there was supposed to be the 49ers and Cowboys game. So now the Cowboys and 49ers game is moved to the uh, 10 a.m. game, the morning game. And now the Rams and um, Jets game is moved to the one o'clock game. And then the Browns and Giants are going to have the night game. I'm offended. I don't think I've ever in my entire life of football seen in the middle of the season a game just like, ah, you guys suck. You guys don't get Sunday Night Football anymore. We're giving it to the Browns and Giants of all teams. Jackie. So I I this to me. Because I was like, how? The Cowboys are like America's team, you know what I mean? That's like prime time NFL. So I looked it up. The last time this happened was in 2006 where the Cowboys were flexed out. And it was for a similar reason because the playoff hopes weren't really there. So they were like, nah, let's get some teams in that actually have playoff hopes. But at least be proud. It's it's Isn't the NFC East being represented? I mean take some solace in I don't care about the dang on Giants. I'm mad that the freaking, the, especially the Brown, the Browns, we were replaced with the Browns. When, a better record. when did NFL turn into this? What is 2020? What is 2020? <laughs> Purgatory. The Browns is replaced the Dallas yeah. Cowboys for Sunday night football. Yeah. And then it's not even like, the Cowboys and the 49ers, both both teams have five Super Bowl yeah. champion, championships, you know? Like, they are both have huge fan bases. Like, in history, would you ever think you would see the 49ers and a 49ers and Cowboys game was canceled for the Giants and the Browns? Like, I just hate it. I hate crazy 2020. Crazy, crazy world. 2020 is almost 20. Are we though, done right? yet? Are we almost Over. finished with this <laughs> Well, another crazy thing that happened that kind of relates to this Cowboys um, team as well is the Ravens were playing the Dallas Cowboys earlier this week on Tuesday. Uh, We all know what happened with my boy Des Bryant. Like, he tested, was inconclusive, then tested again. Supposedly, it's positive. Um, He's apparently, um, video or pictures were deleted, but uh, somebody found these screenshots and or screenshot some of these pictures of Des Bryant hanging out with and hugging the Cowboys personnel um before the game um and they knew about this before the game they knew he had already tested positive at this point and he's over there talking to the Cowboys sideline and the NFL did not cancel the game first of all the NFL announced early in the year that they weren't going to test players on game day for reasons like this yet they tested Des Bryant on game day and then did not decide to cancel the game, even though he's mingling with the Cowboys personnel. And the NFL decided to release a statement and they said about why they didn't cancel the game. And they said standard protocol is to examine the device of the infected person for a duration of time and proximity. Other factors include whether the interaction was indoors or outdoors. It was determined that there was no high risk close contacts. Every game, mostly, I guess, I guess there are some are some indoor arenas. There's a uh, Superdome, all these other places, but most of the games are outside right. anyway. Right. So why why was this game in this situation different? I need an explanation again in 2020, Jackie. There's the NFL is lying. It doesn't make sense. You, if you the reason why they said they didn't cancel the. 
the Ravens game was because they felt like it had it, they had it contained. Even though the Ravens were in the middle of a damn outbreak, they said, we have it contained. Right. Now, test Des Bryant earlier in the day, it's inconclusive. You shouldn't have tested him again, to be honest, until the next day. But then you test him again, yeah. it comes back positive, and then you come and you snatch him off the field, knowing, like you said, he has been interacting. That's not containment. If I'm positive and I'm hugging with my boys and like, how you doing? Shaking hands and doing all that. That is not contained. The NFL should have canceled it. On top of that, Des Bryant has had two back-to-back -back negative tests at this point, but they won't take him off the COVID list. I feel like the NFL is just using this COVID situation to target who they want to target. And they're being blatantly yeah. obvious with it. And it is terrible. It's just another hash mark into why people are slowly dwindling their fandom for the NFL. Like, do better. And to be very clear, it obviously did affect my Dallas Cowboys because we just had two of our guys on our secondary on Friday morning uh, be put on the COVID test or COVID, COVID positive list um, and they can't play this weekend because of it. So um, thank you, thank you NFL for not doing your job basically. Uh, but that is it for <laughs> Audible Attention. Uh, Jackie, what you got for us for Athlete Trash Talk? Okay, Britt, I think you're going to like this one because at least you get to feel your Cowboys in some way doing really good things because we all know Tony Romo is probably one of the best commentators in the NFL. I love him. But did you know, Britt, did you know that he also does impressions and does them very, very, very well? I didn't know this. Britt's over here nodding. I had no idea. But he was on I Jimmy Kimmel Live and he imitated Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and Brett Favre, and he nails it. Take a look. Oh, my gosh. This is the best I got, though. I'm, I'm telling you, this is silly. Okay. I'll yeah. try. I'll try we'll, and make we'll it. We'll be work. the judge of that. We'll be the judge of that. Here we go. It's, it gets a snap. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I, I, I had no idea. <laughs> I had no well, idea. And like the, the way he was everything. Was though. <laughs> it's everything. He's everything. He is like. It's just an entertainer. He's just an entertainer, yeah. you know? Like, he should have never even played football. Like, really? Like, like or something. You know, right. Yeah, yeah. Like, we love you. We love, we you, love Tony. you, Tony. So Post-career post Tony Romo is probably one of my favorite post-career players yeah. ever. <laughs> yep, I agree. I love Tony Romo. I love to see him smiling and happy. Well done, sir. You nailed those. Now, this next one, I'm calling this one Stupid Is As Stupid Does. And I'm going to blame this one on Jamil Hill and Carrie Champion. I think it's all their fault because you remember right after Jake Paul beat Nate Robinson, someone asked him if he wanted to fight LeBron James. And he wisely was like, nope, because he's too big. Now he's changing his tune right after Jamil Hill and Carrie Champion asked him that stupid question of if he was racist. Now he wants to challenge the king all of a sudden. He posted this tweet um, to his Twitter that says, let's see who the real king of Ohio is. And he tagged King James. Boy, if you don't go play on the Ooh. highway, you do not go play on the Ooh. highway, sir. <laughs> that is not how this works. Let me explain to, to you how this works. Because when you dwell in the kingdom, the king does not come down and play with peasants. He, if you're lucky, will invite you to the castle and you can play his game. So maybe he invites you to a one-on-one, -on -one, but like I said, you're a peasant. Don't count on it. Go play on the highway, Jake Paul. Can't stand you. This is all Terry Champion and Jamil Hill's fault, though. They started this mess. <laughs> That's all I got I for trash talk, though. Are we comment clap back in? Are we snapping? What we doing today? We're clapping. Put your oh, hands yay. All right. Put your hands let's together. get into these. All right, let's just start with these ones right away because they're pretty good. All right. Am I going to read this first one or you? This, you can read it because it's for you, so you know you got to address it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Mm, Brit is terrible. Pa is known as Lakers, not a Spurs. Stop with the nonsense. He's not known as a Lakers, and I know that he played for the Memphis Grizzlies for like the first part of his career. I said Spurs in particularly because we were trying to dis distinguish him from his brother because now they're both right. trying to be on the Lakers. So I, when you guys had said, no, we're talking about Grizzlies, I'm like, no, I'm saying Spurs. I would rather see him with the Spurs than with the Lakers. So that's why I said that just because he won championships, with the Lakers does not mean that he should just go back there and get one for free. That's what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> no participation trophies. 
is what she's yeah. saying. All right, let's let's check out this right. next one. All right, this one is old. This guy literally went back. This is so old. This is when Iggy didn't know that WNBA star's name, but yet and still, this person says, this is the video that made me unsubscribe to this channel, LOL, and now they fell off big time. You late, you fell off. We did this video <laughs> months ago. This is your fault, not ours. <laughs> Try again, my guy. <laughs> Wait, did he originally like, D unsubscribe to us and then he came back to then comment on that video from months ago Maybe. to be like see My and God. actually since that since a couple months ago we've been doing better again now that sports yep. are ba basketball come back so um yeah try nice again. try buddy yeah yeah try. <laughs> all right what we got next i don't f with brit no mo you said jello was <laughs> trash and would never make it l m a o okay this one is actually good because Hi. No, I didn't. So Hi Roller um, on YouTube, he has like 1.5 million subscribers. He did a video of six times people said that Lamella wasn't going to make it. And I was included in that video. They had, and I, thank you because he included me with like Stephen A. Smith and um, Skip Bayless and all these other guys that had said things. Um, and I was included. So thank you for thinking that I matter as much as all these other sports people. So appreciate it, my guy. Um, I was like me and actually another girl, um, Sophie that used to work on the fumble, she was on it too. So um, we were the only two girls. So thank you. Shout out to us on that. Shout out to you, High Roller, for posting it. But if you actually watched my clip, what I specifically said in it was in relation to his workout with the Lakers. And I said, he looks like he was out of shape. And if he really wants to try to make it in the league, I need him to work harder and stay focused on that. Just because you have money, a lot of times players can get complacent or get like, oh, I, I got this or I don't really need this. So I'm not putting all my eggs in this basket and I'm sprinkling things out because he had this whole thing that he wants to be a model and he wants to do that. And I said, if he wants to play basketball, he needs to focus on basketball because he looked out of shape at the Lakers um, workout. So I never said he wasn't gonna make it. I really actually gave him encouragement to get his butt in the gym and work harder so he could make it. So I think I need, like LeVar said, that he threw shade at the Lakers. That's why the Lakers work so hard. I threw a little shade at him and now he worked hard and got better and now he in the league. So I need my 10%. <laughs> oh my goodness all right this is all right next one okay so this one is hilarious to me because it says 330 plus old pop here they must enjoy the dating scene a lot next thing you know they'll be 40 and single joe daddy your name is daddy so you've got to be at least 50 55 because how you out here calling my yourself God. daddy stop <laughs> that was funny Dang. Hilarious. Dang. Dang. Okay, I ain't Daddy. Gonna say that was funny. I ain't got nothing to say that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> like if Fumble has fell off and these girls are not funny. First of all, we are hilarious. Second of all, that only got 10 man. likes. Bye. Bye. Hilarious over here. You tripping. <laughs> I think that's it. I think <laughs> that's it. Oh, we got now. Oh. Oh, wait, no, oh. this one, I forgot about this one, because this one I had to put in there because people clap back for us. And somebody said, I ain't watched the fumble since fourth grade. And then this <laughs> user coming back said, what grade are you in now? And then the next person said fifth. <laughs> I hate people. I hate y'all. This is hilarious, though. <laughs> this is funny. OK, these were funny. I'm clapping on these yeah, ones. Y'all did good. good. All right, really before we good. get out of here, y'all, we got to give you our games of the week. Mine is real simple, real easy here. Uh, this team lost last week, broke their undefeated record to a terrible team. And they're coming back, though. I have the yeah. Steelers and the Bills. Both teams are actually number one in their divisions. Um, Steelers have a record of 11 and one. Bills have a record of nine and three. And their competition is just a couple games behind. So Steelers, as long as you don't go on a losing streak, you should be good because um, your competition's three games back. But uh, Miami Dolphins are only a game behind the Bills. So this is like a big game for the Bills. But I don't see the Steelers losing back-to-back -back games. So this is my game of the week. I think it's going to be great. 
What you got, Jackie? All right, so my game of the week might sting a little bit because you already talked about this, but I'm going with the Browns and the Ravens uh, because I know you don't want to see the Browns, right? You don't want to see this at all. But okay. I'm over. look, I said I said that the, the Browns would end up being the kings of the North. I said it. I know I've called them purgatory as well, but that was when they had <laughs> Odell Beckham. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not for the Browns anymore because that was entirely dependent on Odell, but they are in the number fifth spot right now. If the playoffs happened right now, um, they're in the number fifth spots. The Ravens hold the nine spot. So, but since y'all not really checking and I've heard trade rumors about Odell, I'm not going for you, going for Lamar Jackson and the Ravens to win that game. Yes. Even though they gave my team COVID, it's fine. But um, that is that is it, you guys, for the weekend zone. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for making us laugh today. Please head to our comment section. Tell us some more crap so we can laugh again next week. And we will see you guys soon. Bye. We know we got to dance on out. Dance.